in a lot of instances, these people are just upset. These people are just upset that like the black and brown representation is not on the evil side. Let's be real. There's going to be a lot of stuff here that, uh, you know, from people with the genuine underlying resentment towards people of color um, as a consequence of white supremacist constructs that they were born into, that they were raised in, that environment that they were raised in, where they uh, ultimately have these kinds of resentments. And they're trying to express it in this way where they're like, wow, I can't believe they made, uh, you know, positive black and brown characters. African Elon Musk? Wait. South African Elon Musk had a take on this? Where, uh, where he said it's, it's unacceptable that there are positive black characters and brown characters on, on the Lord of the Rings uh, baby book? Oh, no. Oh, no. Calm down. Where he says almost every male character so far is a coward, a jerk, or both. Only Galadriel is brave, smart, and nice. <laughs> He's like, it's not because of the black characters. It's because of the woman character. To you. And good morning to you, Wit. You know, it's far from the first time this has happened, but it's still shocking to learn about racist comments aimed at a black performer. And he's speaking out about the abuse and its effects on him. New, like Corliss Valerian, a lead character played by Steve Toussaint, whose casting has put a micro slice of the audience on tilt, appalled, it seems, at the sight of a black actor front and center in a fantasy drama. This is fiction. This is a made up world. This is a made up family. This is not rooted in reality. So characters can actually be black, white, Asian, Latinx. They can be all types of people. The British acting standout, speaking out about the invective that's targeted him, telling The Hollywood Reporter he didn't feel like his being cast was a bigger deal until I was racially abused on social media. And then I thought, okay, this means a lot to some people, but I can't allow that to bother me. Certainty of those objecting. It seems to be very hard for people to swallow. They are happy with a dragon flying, but a rich black guy? That's beyond the pale. I don't understand. Like, I think... The thing I, the thing I uh, can't comprehend, the thing I can't comprehend often, this is like low-key a more complicated subject to broach than just like, oh, this is racist and let's move on. Or, oh, diversity is good across the board and let's move on. Obviously, diverse representation is a good thing, right? But the issue is oftentimes companies will do female Ghostbusters, right? And what do I mean by female Ghostbusters? Most of you immediately picked up on what I was saying, which is... Uh, let's take Ghostbusters and just put women in it. Like, let's not, let's not do anything. Like, let's not do anything different or new. It's such a hacky and easy way to try to, to reshape the content. Okay. It's such a hacky. It's so performative. Everyone understands what's going on there. And you're just not doing anything. You're recycling IP. People are annoyed when you recycle IP regardless and they get extra annoyed because, you know, misogyny makes it even uh, additionally annoying for a lot of people, right? So my point always is like, make it good. That's the best way to fucking destroy uh, people. Now, this is like uh, one of the greatest examples of, of diverse representation, in my opinion, is from a formative work that I love personally called Avatar The Last Airbender. Now, some of you will say there was a live action rendition of that. And to them, I say, that's not real. That never happened. No one ever shot a Avatar The Last Airbender uh, live action rendition. I'm talking about the cartoon, right? Avatar The Last Airbender had um, brown characters, uh, black characters, leads, you know what I mean? Indigenous characters. Um, Avatar The Last Airbender did disability. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender did a really decent job, in my opinion, of like, having a disabled character. Uh, one of the main characters was literally fucking disabled, blind. One of the best characters, Toph, right? And at the time, people were not fucking freaking out about that as much, but I'm pretty sure, uh, and it was an anti-imperialist work, obviously, so that was great. But at the time, people were fucking mad. Um, at the time, I mean, at the time, no one was mad, sorry. If we had it, if they'd made Avatar Last Airbender now, I feel like a lot of people 
that get mad about this shit would probably still turn around and be like, blind character? That's bullshit. I'm not watching. Fuck that. We have disabled people exist in the real world. Black people, brown people exist in the real world. People with different marginalized backgrounds exist in the real world. And having them, in my opinion, be main characters that aren't exclusively there for that purpose is the greatest way to do it. And also on top of that, you need to make sure that, you know, the, the content is good, right? For example, I think that um, while the new Game of Thrones is all right, never going to hit like the OG, you know, it's never going to hit like the first, you know, four or five seasons of Game of Thrones or whatever. It's all right. It's not bad. One of the great parts about it is that there is no like addressing that a character is black. There's black. That's it. It's great. Who cares? They're just like, because guess what? It's fantasy. And in that situation, there, there need not be any sort of like, there need not be chattel slavery, right? It doesn't have to always address it. It doesn't always have to address that like, oh, there are black Targaryens. What's that, what's that about? We, we got to talk about this. It's like, no, no, we don't. Why would we? We straight up do not have to talk about that. Right? At all. Well, they're not even Targaryen. They're uh, uh, Valerian, right? 